now that we have most of our elements in play and we've got our little animations happening uh, there are a few things that you may wish to do before you render this out uh, in, in my case I'm not really liking this end area here uh, this is looking a little bit washed out almost a little sort of greeny yellowy color it's a bit sickly for me uh, and what I'm going to do is try and find out what layer is actually responsible for that now the vignette is really sort of coming into play with that a little bit um, so that might be part of it but I think the actual one is this cloud color that we're adding over the top here and specifically this one here which is a color overlay this is something we did right at the beginning and I'm going to open that up in our layer styles and what you'll see is there it is there the color is this sort of sickly yellow color and it worked okay at the beginning but I may want to change that out now you might, might be able to just change the color out for that um, just by varying it like that or you might wish to go and change the blend mode as well so we go to something like linear burn and I'm going to start pushing that around until I can find something that's going to work a little bit better for me and I'm after sort of a yellowy orange as opposed to just a sickly yellow so maybe something like that and just keep pushing it around until we get something that's going to work for us and you know try different things but I think we're probably going to stick to um, one up the top which is probably around about the multiply or color burn or linear burn area so I think linear burn is going to work for me right now um, play around with the opacity as well get some interesting effects happening with that as well so let's just try that out and do a quick scrub through and that's kind of working for me now it's looking a little bit better than it was so have a play around with that and now I'm just going to show you how to render stuff out um, so to render out there's two ways of doing it you can go file export and you can go to render video other way of doing it is right at the bottom left corner of our timeline panel is a little arrow if you hover over that it says render video open that up and this brings up our render video panel select the folder where you're going to save this to so I'm just going to save this to my Doritos folder on my computer uh, format H.264 great if you're on Mac you still have QuickTime typically from PC probably not and presets so preset high quality is going to give us our maximum quality according to what our document is currently built at and you can change this to medium low or multitude of other ones there but um, you know I'm pretty happy with this so far so I'm going to keep it high quality and it's going to give you me the same size as the document and the same frame rate so if need be worst comes to worst you can potentially change your frame rate here but I usually recommend setting up your frame rate correctly to start with uh, there we go through now this could be potentially uh, an issue so all frames now I've kind of trimmed these there's a few little out over here um, but this is going to take me to all of the frames that are available in my document now if you haven't trimmed your stuff if some of these are sticking out like dogs legs there's a good chance that it's going to render those as well and so instead of having something that's going to be two seconds and 15 frames long thereabouts you're going to end up with something that's going to be maybe five seconds long because you haven't trimmed them down so you may need to go to something like this one where it says start frame and end frame and set up your end frame at um, 215 let's see if that works um, essentially you just have to do the maths really um, so it'd be 215 which would be 50 25 frames per second so it'd be 50 so it'd be 65 which is essentially what this is going here for the work area so you may need to add that out so um, 65 great but it's over here in the work area so that's where I've scrubbed that down to so just be aware of that uh, hopefully you won't need to deal with that I might actually drop this down to 64 just to cut off I noticed that some of these are just you know a dash a frame less so I'm going to do that and then hit render uh, I've got one there already I'm just going to hit replace and that will scrub through now always check through your videos once they are rendered out um, there's stuff that you know it might be more obvious when you open it in a secondary player the other thing as well check your file sizes if your file sizes are too big uh, to email or crazy you may need to find a way of reducing them so remember if you are emailing them to someone uh, 10 megs kind of the the limit on a standard email you may need to use something like Dropbox um, so this one's relatively um, you know relatively quick and here's my file here and it's only two um, two megs so if I double click and open that here's my little video 
and you know that's that's kind of cool. There's definitely some changes I'd make to it, but you know in a pinch that's that's not too bad.